Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have four new Kaisers to share with you guys and gals today. I hope you're having a fantastic day. These are already unboxed. You don't have to worry about sitting through that unless you've never seen an unboxing before. If you have have not, you can go watch one of my other ones. I've got like a whole playlist of unboxings. But these are four new versions of existing models, and I'm not going to waste your time, and I'm going to get right into it. Not that it's a waste of your time. I mean, you like knife content. You like me. You like knives. You know. Okay, here we go. You ready? This is the Kaiser Militaw. Would you look at that? I mean, oh my God. Freaking goodness, this is not the first version of the Militaw, but this is by far my favorite in the Saxe department. Mr. Fancy Pants, would you, I mean, just look at this. Oh, the green, what do you call that? Purple haze, fat carbon fiber inlays. Look at that. They have a little bit of that texture look to them. Uh, you can actually feel that texture. This is a frame lock. It's a front flipper and it's a reverse flipper and a thumb flicker and wait until you see the coating on this blade. Are you ready? Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh, look at this. This is like the coolest thing ever. It's DLC coated and I don't know if I have any other knives that have this shiny black coating on the blade that just and it's slick too so material is not going to stick to it when you're cutting through it it makes this look i mean i mean let's just, <laughs> let's be honest i just want to look at it <laughs> if you're a knife enthusiast you uh you're like me and you like to do the same thing and i can tell you from experience i already know and well i mean i've had this knife out too this knife is drop shut absolute drop shut it's by far one of my most favorite Kaiser design. This, by the way, this is a, uh, I think it's, uh, let's see, let me double check here before I say it. There you go, now we can see it. And man, I'm telling you, the, the hand feel of this thing is just so good. It is just fan-freaking-tastic. And you can choke up on it and you can, you can kind of lock your middle finger in or you can go back here and lock you this finger in. And then, you know, I'm gonna tell you right now, there's nothing to complain about about this knife. If I was gonna find one nitpick, I already know what it is and we'll come right up in here. And that is your sharpening choil or your plunge grind ends right there at the heel of the knife. So if you sharpen it, you're gonna have to maybe use a little tape or use care and be careful so you don't get a little smile and you know a little sharpened edge going up there on the plunge grind. But besides that, oh my goodness, this knife, I'm gonna tell you right now, if it's in your price range and you like the looks of it, I would get it, just plain and simple, because it is that good. I don't hardly ever say that on a knife. I always leave it up to you, but I'm telling you, uh, this one, uh, like, it's it's just, it's a cut above the rest when it comes to Kaiser knives. It is just so smooth, easy to operate. The, <laughs> the flick, the flip, the sound, the everything about this knife is just so good. I, I absolutely love it. So if you're not familiar with it, I do have other videos out about the Militaw. And I'll have a link in the description and in the comment section where you can go check out all the specs, how long it is, how much it weighs, and all that. But my goodness gracious, this by far is the most sexy one yet. Oh, and did I mention, by the way... <laughs> I'm jumping around because this, I can tell you, it's a complete winner. I already know because I have experience because of my other one that I've carried many, 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 many times. But except for this one, does it say it anywhere? Do they not have it marked? Ah, there we go. Look at that. S45 VN blade steel, baby. So a little upgrade on the Steelio and just gorgeous. Okay, let's go, <laughs> let's go to the next knife. Are you ready for this? This is the Kaiser Chili Pepper. Would you look at it? Just look at it and all of its toxic storm fat carbon. By the way, this was not done with a knife. If you watched my last couple of videos, I already explained this was done from a grease drip pan on my grill that I got a placement and it was very sharp on the edge. And yeah, uh, anyway, keep a Band-Aid handy. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm saying. But look at this. This fat carbon does look very cool. And it's like black and gray and green and yellow. And it's kind of luminescent. Is that the word I'm looking for? You can see the different layers. And if you look right here, that's what's, that's why it's called fat carbon. It's a bunch of different layers of carbon fibre. And this one is a reversible clip. And by the way, this is, this is the size knife. Are you ready for this? Oh yeah. It's just, it's so good. This fit, this will fit small and large size hands. It's such a good knife. I have two other versions of the chili pepper and this one is Wow, it's no exception. And it, well, yeah, it is exception. You know what this blade steel is? Let me show you this. Hold the bus. Look at this. 
That's S90V, baby. So Kaiser is ripping out, ripping out with some awesome blade steel and some upgrades to some existing models. And this one is just, wow, it's such a good knife. I mean, the, the four knives that I'm gonna show you are all great knives, they're winners, and I think Kaiser knew it when they put out this new release. I mean, all four of these, you get a nice little ting, and check this out. Look at that, the green thumb studs look really good. This is a Swags design. It's a button lock, it's a front flipper. It's about 7.1, 7.13 inches long. The handle's 4.1 inches. So you have, a, you have a good size handle. You know I have a large width hand. My hand fits on there like a glove, fits very well. It's a lightweight kind of gents type knife that fits, look at this. Look how the ergos flow in my hand. Just perfect for doing some slicing, just for everyday carry stuff. And the button on this works very good. The blade retention is good. I'm not getting bounce out. So that makes me happy when I ever, whenever I get a button lock, I did get one bounce out. Whenever I have a button lock and I don't get bounce out, that makes me very happy. The reverse flick is very good on it and the thumb studs work very well. This is a nice, comfortable, um, this is, uh, let's see, can we see, um, no, you can't, I don't think we can get a look at, you can't, really, you can't really see the lockup. It's way down deep inside there. Let's see. Um, can you see it? I don't know if you can or not, but you know, I, this is me personally. This is only my personal opinion. When I have a button lock, that's not a knife I'm going to use for hard use stuff. I don't ever spine whack my knives because that's not something I would ever do with my pocket knife. So I don't consider that. I mean, people do it for whatever reasons and for whatever they call it testing or, you know, whatever it is, it's their opinion. Me personally, I've just, from my experience, if it's a button lock, that's not going to be something I'm going to be doing hard use with where I'm worried about lock failure. For that, I'm going to use a frame locker better. But anyway, this is this is a cool new rendition of the chili pepper and that fancy fat carbon. Now, let me show you the next one. Now, this bad boy and the next one both came with these really nice denim cases with a little bit of, what do you call that, ASMR? <laughs> I do ASMR. By the way, Bees Blades live at the Hive. Every Friday night, we give knives just like this away. And it's a four-hour live stream. You don't want to miss it. It starts at 8.15 Eastern time, 8.15 p.m. Eastern time, and it goes for four hours. So stop by during a live stream, and you ready for this? Oh, yes. Look at that. That's the newest Kaiser Comet. This is a Paul Munko design. It is a great, I mean, a really good knife. It's well designed. It's not a large knife. Showing you what it looks like in my large width hands. I have plenty of room. If you have XL hands, it might be a tad small, but because of the way it's, it's rounded back here, even if you had big old chunky sausage fingers, your pinky would wrap around the end. There's nothing here that's uncomfortable. So this is good for small, medium, and large size hands. And I'm gonna tell you this right now. This is a very pokey blade. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. That's some good looking stuff right there. I have two or three, I have three other versions of this knife. Oh, and by the way, when I was looking at the pictures, I was like, what is that? I couldn't tell from the pictures. This is brass. It's black brass, which is very cool. And it has a milled titanium clip. The, the handle on this bad boy is four inches long. It doesn't look like it, but it has a 2.9 inch blade. And this blade steel is 154 CM blade steel, baby. And this, this is a, a classy knife and has a really nice snap to it. And I'll show you the jimping up here on top on that flipper. It has decent jimping. I would prefer a little bit more aggression. You know, I like aggression on my jimping. I like aggressive jimps, but it serves its purpose well. This is an, isn't a hard use knife, but man, it is, it is really comfortable. It is, it is fancy. This is the one that, you know, you give to someone and they're like, ooh, wow. And let's get a, oh, I almost, I almost missed it. Look at this. Check out that red micarta. Let's give you a little texture vision. Look at that. It feels so good. I like what they did here. I like how the edges, the chamfered edges, they're just, you know what? They're really, uh, I, they're just barely, I don't know if I would call that chamfered, maybe just a little bit, but whatever that little slight bevel is, I guess you call it a chamfer. Us knife people, we like special words like chamfer and bolster and heel and ricasso and flipper and thumb stud and T8s and T6s and so on and so forth. But look what they did. They matched this uh, pivot collar 
with that, oh my goodness, that looks so good. And there's plenty of pass through. It's really easy to operate. You don't have to dig your finger. It's nice and snappy. It's a very smooth knife for the for the lightweightness and smallness of it. I really like it. For a 73 millimeter blade and a 100 millimeter handle, I mean, you can't beat it. It's really, really nice. Now, last but not least, now I have a new, a new one. And this, this also comes in this nice denim pouch, which has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different spots to put EDC gear, knives, or whatever you want. These are really nice. I think, unless they've changed prices, these, these go for like 25 bucks, I think. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe they made a bunch and they're getting rid of them, but I, it's a pretty cool pouch. Check this out. The newest addition to my Kaiser Feist collection. This is the Kaiser Feist. Feist. And look at that, micarta. This micarta, wow, it is a total win. It feels like it looks. It's that, It that is the best way to, to describe it. It it feels uh, cottony. <laughs> I don't know if that's the word we're looking for, but it feels like denim, you know? It looks like denim, denim, denim. And if you haven't seen one of my videos on the Feist, I've probably done, I don't know, seven, eight, nine. This is such, oh yeah, see, I, I know. Oh, it's just a great small everyday carry knife. It's just a fantastic knife. And let's see if we can get up in here. Look at that 154 CM blade steel, baby. And they probably, I don't know for sure, but I would guess they probably not only have this black stone wash, they probably also have a satin. I'm not sure. I do. I mean, this is bees blades colors right here. You know, I'm happy as a lamb or a lark or a lip or a lack. A lip. <laughs> <laughs> a lamb. I think it's lamb. But I mean, you know, if I had my brothers with this color. Oh, ooh, you know what? Now, look at that. I spit on it. And by the way, if it gets wet or gets oils from your hand, it gets darker. And yeah, I mean, the red and black is just, it's just my jam. It's always been my jam. So these two go together very well. Man, I am digging that. Now this is a liner lock and these, it's a front flipper. It's an easy front flipper. It's easy to use. Comes around very nicely. I mean, this is just, it. I mean, for everyday carry, opening packages, all the things you do from day to day. Oh, and look at this. This is something else. There is a giant area inside here. Even though when you look at it from this way, you're like, oh, that's not very much pass through. It actually is. There's a giant canyon in there. My thumb just, oh, look how, look how easy. Yeah. I mean, if you've never got yourself a feist or maybe you're not a front flipper person, this has fantastic jimping. Look at the jimp jimps. These are nice jimps. They, they are grabby without being aggressive. They don't hurt your finger. You just roll your thumb around the top. Oh yeah, and it's so easy. And you can also go hold, the, hold it like this with these two fingers down here. Put your, put your first knuckle of your index finger right there and just roll it around and snap it. That right there is easy to do. If you've always, always wanted a knife that it's easy to do that, Front flinger, front fling, <laughs> that flipping front flinger flick. This is an easy one to do it on. It's a great knife. It's small, very lightweight. I mean, I think these only weigh like two point something ounces. Very, very nice. So that is the new Kaiser Feist, the newest version of the Kaiser Feist. And then that's the newest version of the Kaiser Comet. And then, wow. So this is three, you know, more lighter weight, smaller ish knives. And then you get whew, this one right here is. I mean, this is in my top three. It has to be in my top three Kaisers just for how smooth it is, how it feels in the hand, how how well made it is. The hand feel on top of the fact they made this one just look dead sexy. I mean, that that is just freaking gorgeous. This is a looker of a knife. All four of these are winners. I love all four of these knives. My, my other versions of these knives I've carried so many times. I carry, I mean, I'm a huge Kaiser fan, but if you want to go check them out, I have links in the description, in the comments. Let me know which one is your favorite. If you could get one, which one would you get? That's what I'm curious. Now go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. And until I see you again in the lives or the chats or the hive stream, remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.